Hello, YouTube. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I'm Positive Manifestations. In this video, I will discuss to you the root of decision making. But first, I want to shortly discuss the quote before you. A late philosopher named Immanuel Kant created this truthful quote, so I believe it is a good fit for this video. Actually, it indicates that ultimately, adults should make their decisions. But if a person has a mental illness that hinders their capability to make positive decisions, they would need help to do so from compassionate and understanding mental health professionals and loved ones who are kind and understanding as well. Back to the quote, you two. The quote hints at individualism. I have come to know that it would be in all adults benefit to become an individualist in a way that supports their values, perspectives, beliefs, goals, and desire to learn and exist beyond what is common among the majority of people. Humbly, I will say what I have just deciphered is many parts of enlightenment. In another video, I will discuss true enlightenment in more detail. Now I will discuss decision making as it is related to success. Decision making is the first stage of your success in all things you do. For example, even if a parent decides to place his or her child in a competition, then the child becomes resistant yet participates, the child actually decided to compete in the competition. On the other hand, success is more than a competition, job, or college degree. Success could come through you completing your daily chores and shopping for the day, or working on your well-being, such as when you take your medications to feel and get better mentally or physically. Of course, success could come to you through successful communication or relationships with others or purchasing a car or house. Success is many things you do. But the two most successful things you could do in your life is develop and maintain your spirituality and find your inner peace that could not be broken by anything or anyone. YouTube, unless you are underage, it would be in your best benefit to play the largest role in making your decisions. As an adult, if you allow others to play the largest role in making your decisions, likely you will be living a part of your life based on the values that came from their beliefs. Even if someone advises you to speak to someone in a certain manner, before you communicate with the third party, please be sure that you sit and deeply think about the advice that you were given. For example, first, you would need to think about the mental state and character of the one who gave you the advice. In other words, ask yourself, is the person usually angry? Another question should be, does he or she normally gossip about others? Then another question should be, is the person usually negative? If so, he or she may not have given you the kind of advice that would have a peaceful or workable end to resolve conflict with others, you two. Then you would need to seek for help with your problem or issue from people who have shown positive energy, kindness, meekness and understanding for others. That's very important. Also, in the case of people who believe in a creator of some kind, please pray for humility, strength, and knowledge to make a favorable and positive decision. In the case of Christian believers, if you cannot sense the spiritual blessing of your request from the Heavenly Father, remember this. His time is not your time, but he is just to be faithful to you. Also, faith without works is dead. 
states the biblical scriptures. This is true, even realistically. So you too, you must put in the work that is needed to rectify or balance a problem or issue or reach your goal. For example, get to a quiet place to calm yourself with a cup of tea, meditation, and or an informative video related to your problem, issue, or goal would be a benefit to you. Also, a hard long cry, this idea, which as you may know, is an emotional catharsis. In other words, you too, on some instances, people need to release the hurt and anger that grips their mind and hearts. Such a cry would release much of the negative energy within them. Then, in your case, you could think more clearly. Weigh the pros and cons in a problem or any other decision. Then put into action proactivity in a consistent attempt to keep a problem from becoming an issue, you two. For example, humble yourself and don't speak unless necessary. For instance, speak necessarily, but mindfully of your attitude and words when you communicate to someone business or employment wise. Then you can use some of your time doing a problem or issue to master the situation or people who have shown you that they are truly your enemies. Please think of positive ways to master your enemies or reach your goals. And please look forward to my video on communication and master your enemies, the rise of silence and action. Also be proactive in order to prepare financially so that you can keep a problem from becoming an issue. It would be in your benefit to take advice as a suggestion you to then you could think deeply on the suggestion as you apply your values, experiences, and the positive way that you need to progress. YouTube always keep in mind that a suggestion is something only to consider. On the other hand, advice is an expectation. So it would be in your benefit to solidly regard advice as a suggestion and then thank the one who gave you the advice. Afterwards, consider the suggestion in the big scheme of your life and who you truly are as a person. Because I believe you do not want to live your life according to the values and beliefs of others or allow someone else's advice to paint your destiny. In saying this, I'm going to end this video, but please look forward to my decision-making part two video. Until the next time, please have a good one.